Are you frustrated with those annoying graphical glitches when playing Nintendo 64 games on your iPad or iPhone? Well, just copy my settings and start enjoying your games. Hey guys, so I'm going to share my settings when I run RetroArch on my iPad Pro. This is the iPad Pro 12.9 inch running the M2 processor and I got connected a Nintendo Switch wired controller into the USB-C port of my iPad. Of course I had to go into the settings under input and map all the buttons but I'm not going to go through that. What I'm going to share with you is going to be the settings when I run uh, Nintendo 64 games so that you can see how uh, how nice they look. Like for example, this is uh, Donkey Kong 64. I think it runs beautiful the way that I got it set up. Let's press start. And let's press start again. Okay, I don't have any saves on this one here. So that's what the beginning of the game looks like, okay? And let's go to settings. And I got it set up that if you push L2 on R2, it'll take me to the RetroArch settings. And what you want to do is you want to go into core options, okay? And under core options, you want to make sure that under RDP plugin, you got Gliden 64 because there's other op there's other options, but you want to make sure you're using that one. That's the best one to use. And then underneath that, you got Gliden 64. Then you go in there. All right, so under resolution, I got it set to 4.3, and then I got it set to 1280 by 960. And if I wanted to do wide resolution, it would be that one, but this one doesn't support wide resolution because it's a square uh, shape uh, tablet. And pretty much, I think all the other ones are just uh, basic settings. So when you go through there, if you want to match them to mine, I believe they should already be matching, except for the treaded renderer. I think it's turned off, but I think you got to turn it on to get the best picture. Everything else should just stay the same or should already be the same as this one. The only one that you want to change is going to be all the way to the bottom. Okay. This is the one that gave me issues and I never knew how to, how to fix those issues until somebody pointed it out that any behavior, it needs to show prioritize, prioritize core options over any, okay? And I'll show you that there's another option. It may be set to prioritize, prioritize any over core options. So if it's set to that, change it to this one, okay? That right there is gonna solve a lot of your issues with the graphics. So we do that and then here, um, this is pretty much basically all standard so your settings should look just like mine there may not be a lot of things that you need to change and then just if you want what you can do is just manage core options you can save it to uh, save it to save it to the game and this is what I have that's why it's showing Donkey Kong 64 or you could just remove it and save it to the core but I got it saved to the game and like I said, when you when you play it, I'll show you. I mean, the graphics look fantastic. If you look at this, they look beautiful. It's fast. There's no glitches. 
No slowdowns. Honestly, I think it looks way better than my six, my Nintendo 64. And let's pause it again. Okay, now let's go do the... Yeah, you can you can tell right away that the settings look beautiful. I mean the graphics look beautiful with those settings. I guess you could probably raise the resolution higher if you want to. Because the iPad should be able to handle higher resolution. But to me this looks good and good enough already. Well, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Just share the settings that I have and to show you how good it looks running on the iPad if you ever want to use your iPad as a console. And hopefully you like the video and if you do, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't done so and I'll see you guys on the next video.